everyone. Today's Bible story is taken from Acts chapter 12 and I'm reading from verse 1 down to verse 19. And the title of it is Peter's Miraculous Escape from Prison. It was about this time that King Herod arrested some who belonged to the church, intending to persecute them. He had James, the brother of John, put to death with the sword. When he saw that this pleased the Jews, he proceeded to seize Peter also. This happened during the Feast of Unleavened Bread. After arresting him, he put him in prison, handing him over to be guarded by four squads of four soldiers each. Sixteen soldiers. Herod intended to bring him out for, the pub for public trial after the Passover was over. So Peter was kept in prison. But the church was earnestly praying to God for him. The night before Herod was to bring him out for trial, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and sentries stood guard at the entrance. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared and a light shone in the cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him up. Quick, get up, he said, and the chains fell off. Peter's wrists. Then the angel said to him, put on your clothes and sandals. And Peter did so. Wrap your cloak around you and follow me, the angel told him. Peter followed him out of the prison, but he had no idea that what the angel was doing was really happening. He thought he was seeing a vision. They passed the first and second guards and came to the iron gate leading to the city. It opened for them, by itself. They went through it. When they had walked the length of one street, suddenly the angel left him. Then Peter came to himself and said, Now I know without a doubt that the Lord sent his angel and rescued me from Herod's clutches and from everything that the Jewish people were anticipating. When this had dawned on him, he went to the house of Mary, the mother of John, also called Mark, where many people had gathered and were praying. Peter knocked at the outer entrance, and a servant girl named Rhoda came to answer the door. When she recognised Peter's voice, she was so overjoyed that she ran back without opening it and exclaimed, Peter's at the door! You're out of your mind, they told her. When she kept insisting that it was so, they said, it must be his angel. But Peter kept on knocking. And when they opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. Peter motioned with his hand for them to be quiet and described how the Lord had brought him out of prison. Tell James and the brothers about this, he said. And then he left for another place. In the morning there was no small commotion among the soldiers as to what had become of Peter. After Herod had a thorough search made for him and did not find him, he cross-examined the guards and then ordered that they be executed. Wow. I love that story for lots of different reasons. Firstly, I love it because I actually happen to have a niece called Rhoda and the servant girl in this story is called Rhoda so it reminds me a little bit of my niece but that's not the main reason I love it. I love that it has that detail that God knew this servant girl Rhoda so intimately and he knew that it was important to put her name into the Bible in this story. Also it's another example of God being with us in a really difficult situation. So Peter was in prison and he knew that one of the other disciples had actually been killed. He'd been put in prison and killed by the sword it says. So he pretty much thought he was facing death. He was just awaiting a trial and he thought that he knew the results of that would be he would be killed himself. He was in a pretty dire situation but God was with him and God had a plan. Also, I love this story because it tells us something about praying. It says that the people were praying earnestly. That means that they were really, really praying to God. They were passionate about this. They wanted God to intervene and change the situation. They did not want Peter to die. However, there's a little bit of a twist in this story because the people who were praying, 
they, I'm not sure that they really believed that God would intervene because when Rhoda came and said that Peter's at the door, to be honest, they treated her a bit like she was a bit crazy. They said, it can't be. And they thought, like, you, you're not understanding the situation. That's who we're praying for. Can't be Peter at the door. He's the one in prison. He's the one that we're praying for, that God will help him. So they really didn't think, even though we're praying, oh, hang on a minute, maybe God's answered our prayer and maybe it is Peter at the door. It took quite a while for them to realise that God had already answered their prayer. And that, to me, says that if we've got something that we're praying about and we're trusting God for, sometimes he's going to answer our prayer before we've even really chosen in our heart to believe that he can do that, which is amazing. He doesn't wait for us to have enough faith. He just asks us to pray anyway, which I think is lovely. Now, we might not be in prison and we might not know anybody in prison who needs rescuing from that situation, but we might know people who need rescuing from a different situation. Maybe someone who's really sick and we want God to make them better. And maybe we're looking and we're thinking, well, I don't know if God can make them better or I don't know if he will make them better because we do hear about people who don't always get better. But all God asks you to do is to pray anyway, which I think is super cool. So if you know somebody or a situation that you want to pray about, do it anyway and God will sort it out for you. So that's my message for you today um, and I'm going to pray for us now before I finish. So Heavenly Father, thank you for answering the prayer that the, the early disciples made for Peter to be released from prison. Thank you that you can do anything, even in impossible situations like that, anything can happen with you. I pray that you will help us to have faith to keep on praying for whatever situation we're facing. Amen.